Welcome to Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. So today, we've got a new shipment. We're gonna do an unboxing video from our High CC Pet. They used to be High CC Groom and now they've renamed to High CC Pet. Um, these boxes actually still say the old one, but they've got three new products, two new products here, and the third one is kind of new, kind of not. Um, so we're gonna look at these. Right now, they're having a spring sale um, spring offer campaign and we have a discount code for that I will put in our description box below. So first of all, we have our high CC pet ear rinse, this one here, anti-itch antimicrobial pet ear rinse. So the pet ear rinse here is safe to remove earwax, debris, and odor removal. Pet ear infections and some of the leading causes of vet visits. Our natural active ingredients clean the ear canal, relieve ear, ear ear irritations promote ear health and prevent future ear issues um so this will be great for it says here perfect for mild ear infections and relieving itching after bathing swimming or outdoor activities so ember and cole since they have these long spaniel ears they do get dirty ears and i think these two are they you both have dirty ears right now don't you so we're going to try them on them they hate ear cleaning they even hear they name ear cleaning look at ember's eyes they just got bigger uh, they won't be very happy, but I'll read you a little bit more. So it says features here, uh, veterinary recommended formula, no irritating, non-stinging, no sticky residue, safe if licked or ingested, non-toxic, alcohol-free, which is really good. I always make sure my ear cleaner has no alcohol in it, fragrance-free, oil-free, flexible tailored applicator for appropriate ear length and safety, free large size organic cotton birch swabs great for use after shower swimming or outdoor activity so we're just going to do our daily ear clean we don't daily ear clean excuse me we might weekly or monthly ear clean um, definitely monthly for sure if not um, every week or two weeks um, uses as i said before flushing out the ear build up from dirt and debris remove wax and odor itch and pain relief ear wound care soothe irritations and infections prevent acute and chronic ear issues and fight against mite and ringworm. Uh, so I'm gonna just see if there's anything else on here. So to use. So I'm gonna open the box in just a minute and now you can go through, through some of these things. It says tear the seal on the top of the bottle, install the applicator, tilt the bottle gently, squeeze in three to four drops into the ear canal or use as needed. Um, don't apply too much, it says. Gently massage the inside base of the ear for 30 seconds. Allow your pet to shake its head and spread the solution and dislodge any debris. Use a cotton swab to remove excess ear solution. Don't push the swab deep into the canal. Do not rinse mild enough for daily use. Then it says consult a veterinarian if ear issues recur. The other thing it says here too, its ingredients are this high, hypochlorous acid at 0.012% and deionized water. That's all that it contains in this bottle of... of um, four ounces, 118 milliliters. So we're gonna give it a try here. We're gonna open the box and we'll see what happens. Just a sec. Okay, so I'm gonna unbox it. Here are the cotton swabs. Oh, you guys wanna see them? No fighting over cotton swabs. They're very huge, big cotton swabs. Cole is very excited to see what's going on here. <laughs> okay, we're back again. Cole is out of here, back in his seat. So here are all the swabs. They're too excited. No, just stay there. Here is the end that we're gonna put in the bottle. Out. So it looks like I could go quite deep down. Usually they're only about this long. This here in the top comes off. So you might be able to shorten it if you have a really short dog or maybe just put a little bit in. Let's try that. There's lots of swabs there. Here's the bottle. So it's not a huge bottle. We don't want it to go too fast. So we will try to use a little bit. Um, and it comes with an instruction manual which shows all the steps all the things about all the different products they have. Stay. I'm going to put this together now. Open it up so there's no top just right there. I'm going to give it a smell. There's no smell to it at all. It's just a little bit of a clean smell, not even, no, no smelly odor, perfumey, anything like that. Sometimes that gets too much when it's in your dog's ears. I'm just going to turn the camera around and I will get cleaning. Who should we do first? Which one you want us to go first? Coles are going to be the dirtiest. I can tell you that right now. We'll give Ember a try first then. Okay, just a sec. Okay, so first I'm going to pray by getting a cotton swab out. What I would probably do, especially because there's, I mean, I think my ear what, splits will go longer than this. I'll just use paper towel after. So I'll grab a paper towel. I have one as well. I can try each method. Open her ear. 
and aim it down. See how many drops come out, how it works. Well, it's coming out. You can see it. I do have to squeeze the bottle just a little bit to come out, which is nice. I don't get too much out. Now I'm going to rubber ear. Oh, remember, I think I might have put a bit much in that one. I'll put a little bit in this one, and then we'll let her have a shake. She says, Cole's going to try the next product, and she's going to use this one. All right, I got probably more than three or four drops, but not too many. Okay, we're we'll give it a shake. Shake it, shake it. Can you shake it? Yeah, good girl. Yes, good girl. Okay, see it again. All right, I'm going to take my clean cleaner here. I'm going to look inside this here. That's very easy to use. Just going to do, if you can see here, just inside her ear, but not down deep, just right where I can see. And her ears are dirty, so there's good stuff coming out here, Amber. Look at that. That's some dirty spaniel ear. I'm gonna use the rest on this, not waste another one. Let's use my finger. As far as my finger can go, that's as far as I put anything in her ear. I'm gonna give it one more teeny little rinse. See if we can get a bit more out. Get them really clean while we're here. And then I'll wipe it this time. Whatever else in will be drying and hopefully help whatever else is going on. But it's much cleaner now, it's not so much on my finger. We'll use another cotton swab for this year. Give it a clean, I have a feeling this one's not, oh no, this one's dirty too. Not too deep. These are good size, big Q-tip size, way bigger than a Q-tip. So they're not going to go too deep. This one wasn't as dirty, but still dirty. We'll give it a teeny one more clean. A little rub. Sorry, Amber. Wipe her ear one more time. Good job, Amber. Way cleaner. That's good. Now we just have to see how long it, it lasts for. We don't want to, hopefully it won't irritate her. The no smell, I think, will be really good. She wants to leave now. I'll get her a cookie just a sec. Stay. You did very good. You did good for watching. All right, I'll go over. I'll clean Cole's ears on my own, and then I'll show you how what his look like, and then we'll get on to our next product. So we'll be right back. So I have to say, I love these giant Q-tips. I was didn't think I was going to be a fan because I don't really love sticking things, but these really don't go down far in the dog's ear, and they can get all the little creases inside, all the little bumps. And those Cole's actually ears aren't as dirty as Ember's. I'm surprised. I thought they were going to be dirty, but they really doesn't go down very far, and it can just go in all the lumps and bumps inside your dog's ear, which are hard to do with the paper towel. Well, that ear was dirtier, but I don't know, Amber, were yours dirtier? I'm not sure. I think it's a tie. I'm good Cole's just a little white with the paper towel. I don't wanna leave too much in there, but he was a good boy, did good shape. So I think Amber won. These are Amber's dirty ears. At least one, both of her ears, I think, will look dirtier than Cole's. I thought his were the dirty ones and hers were clean. Anyways, they're all good. All clean now. Okay, so I was just looking up the price of this nice ear cleaner here. It's around $20. Um, it's an American company, so you have to get it shipped from... Uh, we're in Canada, so I know a lot of my viewers are not, so that might be more convenient for you um, to get it shipped. I would probably purchase a bunch of stuff to make shipping cheaper and things like that. But anyway, so I'm going to get on to the, here, this next product they gave us. So it's a no-brushing pet oral spray. I'm going to read you a little bit about it. Um... So this oral spray provides an easy, effective solution for pet, oral, and dental health. It's an, our natural ingredients, um, clean and deodorized by eliminating bacteria hidden in cats, dogs, mouths, and soothes irritated red gums and prevent gingivitis and periodontal disease. It's ideal for pets with bad breath, mouth ulcers, inflamed gums, plaque, and tartar. So it's veterinary recommended formula. It's a long spray, extends to hard to reach areas, and it's 360 degree flexible spraying angles. That's pretty cool. Helps freshen bad breath, soothe gums, relieve mouth ulcers, antimicrobial, prevent periodontal disease, and reduces plaque and tartar. It's safe if licked, non-toxic, better be safe if it's going in their mouths. Uh, dye free, para paraben-free, additive-free, free of antibiotics, steroids, fluoride, hormone, non-irritating, non-stinging, non-residue. Um, so directions, it says lift up either side of your pet's mouth, spray two to three pumps daily directly onto teeth and gums and affected area by tartar plaque and on each side. Do not let your pet eat or drink for an hour after use. I will pick up the water bowl now. Enjoy using high CC pet oral dental clay mist spray. 
for best results use in conjunction with high feed dental wipes. So we didn't get any of those. Those might be neat to try the next time. So their ingredients are the same as the ear cleaner. It's a hypochlorous acid, but they're 0.015 deodorized spray, where I think the other one was 0.012. Uh, so we're going to open that box and we're going to see what that looks like now. All right, so it's got a sticky, so I'm going to put the camera down. You're going to help Cole. Cole is very into this. Cole is our one with the worst teeth uh, as because he's 11. He has dirtier teeth for sure. So here we go. and open the box. It's got this nice little bottle. Cole, please. Cole has to check everything out. All right, Cole, you can check out the box too. There's the pet spray and here is the pump that goes in it. This little nozzle. Oh, that just stays on, does it, Cole? Really? And then it sprays out of it. All right. And again, there are directions in the box here. Cole's checking out. Make sure there's no treats for him on the counter. He's going to knock everything over. Cole, stop. So we're going to remove the top here. There we go. I put in the nozzle. Oh, I'm going to smell it first, actually. and take this out and just give it a little smell. Oh, it's the same as the air cleaner. It smells nice and clean. Nothing bad. Let's give it a little, it's locked, I think. How do I unlock it? Give me this whole piece. There it does, the whole piece comes off. There it goes, nice spray. It's a wide spray on it. Look at it. Spray nicely in there. All right, we're gonna try you first, Cole. Hold on a sec. So we're gonna get Cole's big chompers in here. All right, we're gonna turn his head here. Open up, lift his lips. There's teeth there. I'll lift this flap out here. Cole's had some, has had a tooth removed. Get his front teeth here. He says it doesn't taste bad. Cole really needs something to brush, but this will help, I think, with the gums. Cole has some gummers. That was, how was that, Cole? Was that too bad? I think he kind of liked it. <laughs> okay, I'll come over and we'll try Ember. Ember, you get ready. I'm going to do your teeth too. Good to start your dog's brushing teeth at any age, even puppies, once they get their their big adult teeth, or as a or as a young puppy, just letting them kind of stick your finger in their mouth. You got to train dogs to let you get in their mouth. My dogs are good, especially because they're show dogs, so they show the judge their teeth. They're used to me sticking my hands in their mouth. That was very easy application, that's for sure. I hope that this stuff does well uh, because it'd be nice to have something easy like that to put on their teeth. So this dental spray is about $16 American plus tax and shipping, uh, but that's a pretty good price for some dental spray. And you don't have to even have an applicator. I would like to try the wipes that they have because then you could kind of scrub the teeth as well and get some of that plaque off or help keep it removed. But anyways, I'm really impressed by both of them. I love that they have no scent. Um, you know, in their mouth for sure, a little minty smell would have been okay, but they really don't need it. They don't need to be smelling like something fake. And for sure their ears don't because it lasts, it sticks in the long hair and all of that fun sort of stuff. So I'm gonna try just quickly, the last thing that they gave me was we're gonna try this last thing really quick on the rabbit. These are their hyperallergic pet glove wipes, specially made for pet care. Um, these ones here have coconut oil and oatmeal. Cole is having an allergic fit. Are you allergic to your nose spray? I hope not. Uh, I'll tell you a teeny bit about the, these. These are hypoallergenic glove wipes, uniquely, uh, uniquely added high CC patent formula, magical organic, seven day fermented coconut oil essence and all natural oatmeal. Um, they are gentle and safe if licked, durable. They have a large sized glove that you put your hand in. Convenient to on the go rinse, perfect for quick cleaning between baths. I think these are great um, for the dogs when it's salty out. I use them to wipe their feet or in the summer. And I, uh, But the best use for I found so far is my rabbit. I don't like bathing the rabbit. Her hair gets wet, it stays wet so long but she does get dirty and her bum is dirty. She lives in sh uh, shavings and hay and, you know, gets dirty feet. And so we're gonna give her a quick little bath with this today. Okay, so here's the package that comes in. This is one glove. It's a nice coconut. I'm gonna rip tear the top open. The other ones you have to mix the solution in. So this one is just a glove already saturated. So that's kind of nice. It's all wet, ready to go. This is a large glove. All right, I'm gonna go get the rabbit and then we'll clean her with this. I'm gonna give it a smell here. So this has a tiny, barely any smell, maybe the tiny this whiff of coconut, but like you can barely smell it. And it's very moist and wet. My hand is see quite damp now from it. All right, I'll try it on the rabbit and then I'll rub it on the dogs as well. Okay, here's Minnie the rabbit. I'm gonna put my glove on. 
open it up. Let's see. It's quite thick, this glue. I can there, barely open it. There we go. Quite wet, too. All right, we're going to start on her face. Her little white. Oh, she's making funny noises. Down her body. Lift each paw up. Get a little paw. Clean you from your stinky old cage, eh? Minnie isn't a free range bunny in the house, but she does free range every day. She's out for two to three hours. Then she goes back in her little house, all right? Cleaning bum, back feet, tummy. It's also taking off some of her, if you can see her loose hair, she's shedding a little bit. She's quite wet here though. We're gonna drop to dry her maybe with the towel a little bit. Lift her again, get under her tummy. Here we go. Then I'm gonna get under her dewlap here, under her little neck, just a teeny bit. Oh, what a good girl you are. I know, oh, oh, she left. <laughs> so that was too much. She had to do a big jump. There, now she does. You can see she is damp. Let's give her a bit more of a scrub to help her out here. I know. You ever, Robert shouldn't be washed like this. I think it's still better than a bath. You smell good now? Mmm. Don't smell so like a dirty cage, eh? All right, we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, girl, I'm, I'm just going to dry with a towel a little bit. And then she's pretty dry. Look at her, it's not too bad. Oh, she looks good. Good job, Minnie. We use the rest of that glove on Cole's dirty lips in a minute. So it's still quite wet, even after cleaning this lovely rabbit here. Okay, I'm gonna put the glove back on really quick here. Sorry, dogs. Put it on upside down. I'm gonna put it on the other hand that goes on my left hand, which I'm not left handed, but that'll work, okay? And I'm just gonna give here embers. See, she gets these brown lips under here. Just give them a little clean. This side is clean, so we can reuse it. Just a little bit. There, we'll do her eyes just a little bit. Her ears are clean, so we don't need to do that. And then we'll just move it over to Mr. Man over here, and we can do his a little bit. He's got the more droopy slobbers that like to come out. There we go. Give everybody just a little clean. Hey, good boy. So this is after just doing their mouths. You can see my thumb is very dirty and my fingers. The rabbit didn't do too much except for some hair loss over here. She wasn't as dirty. I might clean their bums with this, give them a little touch up, finish off this glove and make it really dirty. But anyways, we loved our ear rent, our ear spray. This so one here, our anti-itch, anti microbial pet ear rinse. Cole still thinks he's getting cookies. And our no brush pet spray, that was great. I think that combined with some little bit of brushing would be some great dental care. And these are always a favorite in this house for doing feet, rabbits, cleaning bums, cleaning faces like that. You guys have dirty lips. Thank you so much for watching Amber and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel and our high CC pet um unboxing so we hope you guys enjoyed all of our things i have a few of these th uh, products linked on my amazon associates and a link to the high cc pet website hope you guys enjoy and try out these great products thanks so much for watching please subscribe